All right, so the last time, we used the find function to find the list of students in our database with the name of Jason. Now we're going to learn how to be 100% certain that the first student here is the student that we've inserted to our database by writing an assertion. So we open up our terminal. We can see the underscore ID attributed to the students. So one thing which is actually really beneficial for us is when we insert new students, it gets this unique ID automatically by Mongoose. And it doesn't even wait for it to be saved to the database, right? So this underscore ID will be the same ID after it's saved properly into the database. So that means let's put this ID here to make an assertion inside of the it block. So we want to be sure that the ID of the first student and Jason's ID are the same. So we'll write assert and students zero, referring to the first students in the array, dot underscore ID dot to string equals to Jason's ID dot underscore ID dot to string. So don't worry, I'm going to explain why I use the to string method a little later on, but for now, let's save it and run the test in the terminal and you'll see the method of my madness. All right, so you see here all the tests are passing. So let's come back here. First of all, I want to see the IDs here in my console. So that means I'm going to write in here console log student zero ID and console log JSON dot ID. Now let's run the test again. All right, so both seem totally the same here. However, they are not actually, and hopefully if you've been following on, you will know why. So let's delete the two strings from here and run the test again. Okay, so now you see what I'm saying, right? This time, it doesn't look like it went right, okay? The test failed. So it looks like the comparison is not equal like we expected. Well, why is that? Just a second ago, we saw they were the same, but this assertion failed. Okay, so remember that in RoboMongo, we have expanded the singular record and we can see underscore ID, not only with its value, but also with object ID and this string here. So even though we see a raw string in our terminal, it is not only this raw string of the ID. Actually, we see the object ID wrapping the string inside it. So for that reason, even though they both seem identical, our comparison still fails. All right, so what's the main objective here? Well, it's to understand that underscore ID property, well, it's kind of misleading. So in order to get the result that we want, we put dot to string on both sides of the equation. So this makes what we want to happen, happen. Because this is actually comparing the strings inside of the object ID. All right, clear as mud? <laughs> no, I know you follow, so that's okay. Now, We'll delete the console log statements and add to string again. Save the new version and run in the terminal. And sure enough, it seems like things are going pretty well. So in the upcoming section, I'm going to want to tell you more about the find one function. And we'll definitely see a way to run our test automatically without having to type npm run test each time. All right, see you then.